<sighs> I'm finally back, and of course, my return can't be positive. Of course it can't. I mean, even if it could, y'all know I'd still find something to complain about, but legends being legends, it does my job for me. And, um, <sighs> okay, so powerful opponent campaign. This might be the worst campaign in Legends history. Now, I could be wrong about that. Legends has had some dog shit campaigns, almost every single one of them. In fact, if someone can point me to a legitimately good campaign that Legends has, I'd love to hear it because I, I honestly don't remember. Maybe it's just because I only talk about negative shit 95% of the time. But I legitimately cannot, off the top of my head, remember a good campaign that Legends ran. But this might be the worst out of all of them. So, let's go over what we got for this campaign. We got Mecha Frieza and Goku Black released at the same time. We got the free-to-play Metal Cooler, LF Final Form Cooler, and now the announcement of the Zenkai for Blue Slug. Now, I actually have no issue that Slug's getting his Zenkai. In fact, I'm quite happy that Slug is finally getting his Zenkai. This man has been forgotten about for the past three years. It's, uh, it's nice to see a unit that was released before the fucking one-year anniversary, before we ever even got the first Legends Limited unit finally getting a Zenkai. Now we just need, you know, some of the other units from before that point to get a Zenkai. Funny how the Legends Limiteds are approaching the third anniversary in terms of Zenkais, yet normal Sparkings, we still have 2018 Sparkings that haven't been zenkai yet. What the hell? So it's about fucking time that he gets his Zenkai, but I legitimately feel like people would have been more hyped about it had he just been a random ass Zenkai and not attached to this powerful opponent campaign. Because tell me that it's not a little bit disappointing that the big finale of this powerful opponent campaign is Slug. Like, I'm sure a lot of people are happy about the Zenkai, but they're happy because he's getting a Zenkai and not because it has anything to do with the Powerful Opponent campaign. And that's not really how that should work. Let's just break this down real quick. So the campaign started with a unit that doesn't even fucking have the Powerful Opponent tag in uh, Mecha Frieza, because of course, of course it fucking does, because Legends can't do anything right. Then we got Goku Black number 18, which I'm not even that upset about. Uh, we do need more actually good base form Goku Blacks, because realistically, the only good one was the transforming one, and he was only in his base form for about 1% of the match. So, realistically, we've never actually had a good base form Goku Black. You can argue the yellow one when he first released, but he wasn't even the best unit on his banner. The purple Super Saiyan 3 Goku overshadowed him, and when you can overshadow a unit you have type disadvantage against, there's something wrong there. At least he wasn't the worst, he was better than Majin Vegeta, but still. <laughs> like, I, and after his Zenkai, Jesus Christ, his, his Zenkai was kind of terrible. And he got his Zenkai back when those fuckers were broken as hell. So... The yellow one, no, not really, and if we're being honest with ourselves, the only Goku Blacks that ever actually mattered in the meta were the Red Rosé and the Transforming one. Those are like the only Goku Blacks that, ever, that have ever actually made a dent in the meta. So, you may, people may complain about getting all these Goku Blacks, but how many of them have actually done anything? <laughs> I do think this Goku Black is pretty underrated, and honestly, I think with the rise of LF Cooler, you might start seeing him a little bit more, simply because he's a blue unit that isn't a Super Saiyan, so his, his value immediately rises just for the fact that, you know, maybe he can actually help you beat LF Cooler. Um, but yeah, I, have, I don't really have a problem with Goku Black. When we're talking powerful opponents, there are few characters more popular than Goku Black, like there's Frieza, Frieza's definitely more popular, and then like who else, honestly, maybe Cell, maybe Cell is more popular? I, I, I'll listen to that argument, but I don't think I can agree with you, 
maybe to like really old school Dragon Ball fans, Cell might be their more preferred villain, but I think to the general Dragon Ball audience, Goku Black probably is the second most popular villain in Dragon Ball. So it makes sense for a Frieza and a Goku Black to be a part of this campaign. Um, they should have just chosen literally any other kind of Frieza. Like, why couldn't we have gotten a transforming first form Frieza into second form? That would have been a powerful opponent, and it would have been a type of Frieza we didn't have. Slap Mecha Frieza as a 1% sparking on LF Trunks' banner and stop separating the damn units. And there you go. You would have actually started your campaign off properly. And you would have been able to do just whatever. Then we got the free-to-play Metal Cooler. Um, no issues. He's pretty good. Bit boring in terms of a hyped campaign, but it works. Then we got LF Cooler. 100% should have been a part of this uh, campaign. Like, no issues. He is the saving grace of this campaign. He's the only thing that makes it even worth playing the game for. And then we... The finale is slug. I just, I, I just don't think I agree with the lineup. I think they could have done a lot better. And we didn't even get much in terms of content either for this campaign. Like, wh what, what was it? We got the free-to-play Metal Cooler, who in turn gives us a full power battle. But, I mean, nobody really cares about full power battle. And free-to-play events are incredibly boring, so that didn't really work. I, I guess we got the what the hell is it called? I, I don't even remember what the hell it's called, but it's that it's it's that event that you really don't want to play unless you have the new LF unit. <laughs> it's, it's, at, it's at the top of the list, the thing that gives you the stupid coins. I I don't fu I don't fucking remember what the shit's called. But that's one stage per day. You cannot play more than one stage per day, so that's not really content either. And what else? We got a, a unique equip for LF Bardock, despite the fact that he hasn't returned a single time since his initial release back in January. Okay. He's not even a powerful opponent. You want to know what would have been perfect as a Platinum Equipment to go along with the Powerful Opponent um, campaign? Rosé Goku Black. Why didn't you just give LF Rosé a Platinum Equipment? You already released a base form Goku Black. Why not buff up a Rosé too? <laughs> like, I get it. Bardock needed that Platinum Equip, but you haven't even brought him back since his release. At least Goku Black has returned since his initial release back during the 1000 day celebration. Like, people have Goku Black. People who didn't summon on his initial banner could possibly still by now have Goku Black. Why didn't you just give him his Platinum Equipment? That would have made far more sense for your powerful opponent campaign. I don't, I don't get it. And in terms of Zenkai's, instead of Slug, like, I get it. He is a powerful opponent. It works. Fuck it. But, like, why not Yellow Cell? I, I did just talk about how Cell could be argued as the second most popular Dragon Ball villain over Goku Black. So why didn't you just Zenkai him? That's a unit that a lot of people, myself included, want Zenkai. Why not Zenkai Yellow Perfect Cell as your finale? I get it. Zenkaiing a yellow unit right after the best unit in the game whose red comes out isn't exactly ideal, but if you make him good enough, he can at the very least help in, you know, fighting the other colors. As long as you keep him the fuck away from cooler, he'll be fine. But if you're that upset about, you know, having a yellow unit get Zenkai'd right as the best unit in the game comes out and he's red, then fucking, fucking first form cell. The sparking first form cell. Why not him? Could have Zenkai'd him. He's a powerful opponent. Uh, I, I just, I just don't, I just don't really get it. I don't really get the mindset. Or maybe you could have, instead of Zenkai'ing somebody, you could have released 
the first ever sparking second form cell. I'm just, I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying there were other options. You didn't have to make, you didn't have to put slug as your finale to the campaign. Like, again, I'm happy he's getting a Zenkai, but that's just because of how old he is. I don't give a fuck that he's attached to this campaign. If anything, like I said earlier, that just makes it more disappointing. Slug is not necessarily a hype character, and they hyped this shit out of this campaign just for it to be nothing. This campaign was LF Cooler. That was the entire campaign. This entire ass, like, month and a half long campaign was just LF Cooler's release. That's it. Nothing else throughout this entire thing has mattered. I, 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 just, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I'll tell you what the lineup should have been right now. You can you can tell me if you agree with this lineup or not. So, transforming first form into second form Frieza. You can keep your Goku Black. Honestly, I like that Goku Black. I do feel like we need more good base form Goku Blacks. You can keep your Goku Black. And you know what? You can even keep your free to play cooler. I don't care. LF Cooler, 100% release a platinum equipment as part of the campaign for LF Rose. If you want to also give Bardock his, go for it, but give a platinum equipment as part of the powerful opponent campaign to LF Rose. And then if it must end in a Zenkai, Zenkai a powerful opponent Legends Liberty. Because that makes more sense. Just Zenkai, an LF powerful opponent. Who? Fucked if I know. <laughs> I cannot, off the top of my head, remember all of the powerful opponents uh, in the Legends Limited that actually need a Zenkai. If you really wanted to fuck with people, you could do Corrupted Zamasu, but no, please, no. I don't even think he should get a Platinum Equipment right now. That fucker would be dumb. He, I, I legitimately, a Platinum Equip or a good Zenkai would actually just make him better than Cooler. And I don't think the game's ready for that right now. <laughs> I don't think the game's ready for Cooler plus Corrupted Zamasu. I, I, just, I just don't think they're ready for that. So, maybe not him. Um, Full Power Frieza is still really good with his Platinum Equip, so he doesn't need the Zenkai. I don't know. Maybe a Legends Limited isn't the best option. Now that, I'm, now, now that I'm actually thinking about the Legends Limited LFs, maybe that's not the best option. So just do a sell. Just, just some form of sell. Zenkai a sell. Give the, mo give the more popular, powerful opponent units what they need. I just, I just don't get it. The only other option would be a Z Broly, but all the Z Brolies, all the legendary Super Saiyan Brolies that we have are already zenkai You could Zenkai the Yellow Broly, who's the, just the base Super Saiyan form. You could Zenkai him, I guess. Um, wouldn't be as, you know, fantastic as a, you know, legendary Super Saiyan form, but... Purple DBS Broly's already been Zenkai, the green Broly's already been Zenkai, blue Broly's already been Zenkai, there's really nothing there's really nothing more to do. Um, or what you could have done is just release an Ultra. Ultra Z Broly. I don't know, that last slot actually following up LF Cooler is pretty hard. It needs to be a specific character, and Slug wasn't it. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of this powerful opponent campaign. In the comments down below and also again no content there was no real content no like powerful opponent events where you fight all these different powerful opponents and get some cool items maybe some crystals that would have been nice since you hyped up this fucking campaign more than you did your own anniversary <laughs> literally you fuckers didn't hype up your anniversary until one week before it happened 
You didn't even acknowledge your anniversary's existence until one week before it happened. Now to be fair, the powerful opponent campaign didn't get hyped up until it started, but the anniversary just kind of existed once it started. They hyped it up for one week and then they're just like, I right, anniversary. At least throughout this, po this powerful opponent campaign, they kept releasing shit, uh, you know, social media wise to hype the stuff up. They actually treated this campaign from a marketing standpoint better than they did their own anniversary, which is fucking amazing. Um, but you guys can let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, do make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that join button if you can, it really does help the channel out. All the links you could ever want are in the description down below. And I will see all of you inmates back here at the Asylum for the next video. Peace. Damn, I haven't said that in pretty much a month. Goddamn.